Hello guys, let's solve this problem in hacker rank called array.start and array.end. So actually this problem is pretty easy but you just need to know some inbuilt functions in python to make your life more easy. So basically this is start and end function, you can click on here, click here and see the theory related to it but I'm just going to cover it in this problem. So see that input format is string s and k on both the lines, right? So s equals to input and in the same way k equals to input to get a uh, string as input right so we got s and k obviously we have to import re to get the pattern whatever they want so import re and after that what i'm going to do is see they have told us to search for k inside of s so for searching k we'll we are going to use regular expressions so we need the pattern of k right so we'll just define some pattern equals to now here we want to store the pattern of k so it will be re dot compile so I'm basically going to compile k to get the pattern. So this is the pattern of k, right? Now I want to search for this pattern in s, right? So let us use an any string called m to store that pat. That's if we found that string or not in this m, right? So actually I know what I said is really confusing. I'll just show what I'm going to do. So I want to search pattern. So inside I want to search this pattern, but I want to search this pattern inside of this string s. So basically what I did is I took in s and k. Then I, I want to search for k, so I just took the pattern of k, whatever it is, and I searched for that pattern inside of this string s, and that's what we are supposed to do according to the question, right? So, first of all, they have told us that if this does not exist, that if the m does not exist, so if not m, then they have told us simply to print out minus 1, comma, minus 1, which is a tuple, obviously, so I'll simply print out a tuple of minus 1, comma, minus 1, that's what they have told us. After that, we'll obviously jump to the else condition else so now m is going to exist so first of all we'll use a condition while m exists right so while m is true so m is true now so what we will do we have to print out right so print out what i'll use the format function for that because i want to print out a tuple as they have told us so inside of this tuple obviously separate them by a comma and now here i want the starting index here i want the ending index so for starting index i'll just use curly braces and zeros to use the format format you know formatting so over here 0 and over here 1 hold on yeah now it seems fine now basically i want to use the format function so dot format first of all i want the starting so pattern not pattern actually m dot start and simply m dot end so in this way at 0 position over here we are going to get m dot start and on the first position that is this curly one curly brace and then one you are going to get m dot end and obviously, if you have done searching, if you have printed out the index, now you want to continue from the next thing, right? So basically what I'm trying to say is, if you, you are searching for AA in this list, so you search for AA, but now you want to go on from AA, right? So basically what you're going to do is, m dot start plus 1. So basically you checked for this, now you're going to check from the next index and you're going to continue. So for that I will have to change the value of this m. So first it was this, I will just copy it and paste it again because it is kind of same. So pattern, but now we search for, for, from the index 0 over here. But now we are going to search for, for some other index which is going to be m dot start and plus 1 because we have to go to the next index and then search it again, right? So I think it, it should work. Now let us copy the sample test case and see if it actually works. Paste. We are getting 0, okay, 0, 2, 1, 3 and 4, 6, let us see, 0, 2, 1, 3 and 4, 6, okay, something is wrong, actually if you see, here it is 1, 2 and 5, and on the right side it is 2, 3, 6, basically it is minus 1, so basically what we did over here is kind of wrong, we just need to print out minus 1 with it, so now let us see if it works, yeah, 1, 2 and 5, now it is working, let us copy the test case and let us copy, copy the whole code and see if all the test case work or no. Okay, test case 2 is not working. Let us see what is wrong in the code actually. So, okay, I got it. The tuple over here is wrong. Okay, fine. That was easy. So, yeah, I'll just copy it again and paste it. Let us see now if it works. Just the tuple was wrong. I forgot to use this square, this round bracket. Yeah, it is working. Now, there's no error. So, that's all from my side. You can subscribe to our channel for getting more updates regarding electronic stuff, programming stuff, competitive programming, etc. So, that's all. Stay tuned and keep learning. Thank you.